New Nature Foundation has impacted the community that are bordering Kivale Forest National Park in various ways. Our traditional stove used to take more firewood than this one. But this one, let me say about 15 kilograms of firewood, you can use that 15 kilograms for about a month. But for the old stove, you can use it for three days or four. The stoves that we build are made from local materials and are very easily replicable and completely affordable by the community. It took me one hour to make my stove. I love the stove so much. <laughs> We're using free materials that you don't need any money mm. to build. It's a very simple idea, just a rocket elbow, and that changes the flow of air through the stove, which changes the way the fire burns. It means it burns a little bit hotter, and that cooks your food quicker, of course, but it also burns up a lot of the particulate matter in the smoke, which makes it a healthier stove. Uh, there's only one place for the air to get in and one place for the heat to come out. So that also makes it much more efficient. So you're still cooking on firewood when you use this stove, but it uses 30 to 50% less. Hello everybody, I'm Agnes working with the New Nature Foundation. Today we are going to build an energy rocket, an energy saving rocket stove. Are you excited to have it today? I'm so excited. There is only four things you need to build a rocket stove. Mud, sand, dung, and brick. This is a police old stove. It has so many problems. It produces much smoke. It uses much wood, and children got accidents. Now, a pool doesn't want it anymore. After getting all our bricks, we are going to level where we are going to build our energy saving stove. I'm going to first put mud so that bricks can get firm. Before putting the second layer, I'm going to add their mud. On this second layer, I'm going to interlock my bricks so that this stuff can last longer. So here, I'm going to cut my bricks into pieces so as to fill this space. The entrance of the stove is facing to the door to allow air entrance into the stove so as fire can burn well. And why I'm making this stove small to stop people from putting more firewood. Now, since I have finished put the bricks there, I'm going to smear on top of the bricks with mud first. Well done with stage one of making the energy saving stove. Wow. I'm Margaret Kemisa. Now I'm taking over stage two of the stove. We are going to create a wall around this stove so that um, we are able to pour in ash, pour in ash. The purpose of the ash is to keep the stove hot, to keep uh, the bricks hot, to insulate the heat in simple. This is the last brick to this level so that they match with this stove, they match. We are going to pour ash here, ash there, ash here. The purpose is to insulate the heat, to keep the stove strong. We make it smooth so that it looks beautiful and nice. From this stage, we are going to let it sit 
until tomorrow. It should be ready by now. Kirungi pak. Kan kita suka kirungi mon. Eh, ni kita kesana kiti. Eh, kita suka kirungi by now. We are pouring the ash to insulate the heat and make our stove stable. The ash has reached to the top levels of the layers of the blast bricks, so it is balanced. We are living in different communities, we have different animals, not necessary that you have to use cow dung. 30% sand, 70% cow dung. Oh, yeah. Once it is sticky, it holds the mud tighter. If it was not sticky, it would be falling from my hands. This final stage is going to make the stove stronger. This is where the pot is resting. This is where the firewood is entering. So I'm going to put more dung and sand to protect it. The stove can always tell you that it needs repair when it gets cracks. Regular maintenance is very important. In my hands, I have three stones. I'm placing them on my stove. If these three stones are not there, the fire will bounce back. That will be a waste of fuel. It will bounce back to the entrance. So by putting the three stones will help the stove um, raise the pot a little bit. Thank you for having this stove. I hope it will be useful to your family. Thank you. Thank you very much.